In this video, we'll talk about how to translate a polygon using GeoGebra. So we'll click on Start Creating in Geometry to get into our work surface. Turn on our axes and our coordinate grid. Set my distance on my axes to 1. There's a little more explanation of this process in the Reflections video if you need to go back to that. And we'll center and kind of scroll out. All right, so first thing that we need whenever we're going to translate an object is we need the polygon itself. So in this case, we'll start with a polygon. I'm just going to draw some random points. Remember, you can draw the points first and then use the polygon tool to connect them. You could also type the points in over here at the left and use the polygon tool to connect the dots there as well. Now, for a translation, we need a vector. Remember, a vector looks like a ray but that that vector implies movement. And the vector should show how far I want this object to slide to the left or right, how much, more, how much do I want it to translate horizontally, and it should tell me how many units I want to translate up or down. So the way that we're going to create the vector, and you'll find your vector is in here, vector in that line menu. The first thing you want to do is we're going to create two points. One of them will be the origin, and you'll always use the origin. And in this case, I'm going to do a translation that goes five units up and three units, or I'm sorry, five units to the right and three units down. So to go five units to the right means that from point D, I would need it to go five to the right and three units down. So I need a vector that has those components. So I'm going to plot a point now at 5 units to the right, 3 units down. So at 5, negative 3. Then we're going to use our vector tool. Go up here into the line menu, choose vector. And the order in which you select the points is going to determine which direction you want it to move. Here I want it to move from D to E. Clicking on both points creates that vector. And you can see over here at the side we have this weird u equals. That just indicates that this is a vector called u and that 5 is its horizontal component. It's going 5 units to the right and 3 is its vertical component. So it's going 3 units down and I know it's down because it's negative. So the upper number that we see here, that's your horizontal translation. Positive would go to the right, negative would go to the left. And then in the bottom, we see the vertical translation. And in this case, it's going down because it's negative. If it were a positive number, it would mean that it's going up. Okay, so once you've drawn the polygon and drawn the vector, then you're ready to do the, the translation. So we'll go into our transformation menu, and we want to choose translate by vector. You're going to click on the polygon, so click in its interior. The side should get bold as you've chosen that, and then you want to choose the vector itself. You're not choosing the other two points, D or E, you're choosing the vector. So somewhere on that ray or on that vector, click. So in this case, I can see that A, A to A prime went 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units to the right, and 1, 2, 3 units down. And every point on this polygon, every point in the plane has translated the direction in which this vector is pointing. So here, since the vector is pointing 5 to the right and 3 down, I know that every point in the plane has moved by that value. So let's look at a second example. I'm going to delete all of this and start over. So edit, select all, and I want to delete it. Okay, so my coordinate grid is still there. It's going to start with a polygon. So you choose where you want your polygon to be. Let's see, one, two, right there. And we'll put three over here somewhere. Choose the vector. Now, in this case, I'm instead of going right and down, we are going to translate to the left and up. So we're going to do a translation from the point zero, zero. Always start with that one. And in this case, I want to go 8 units to the left and 5 units up. 
So I'm going to draw another point now. Eight units to the left, negative eight. Five units up, positive five. And then I want to draw my vector. So the vector should go from the origin to that point E. And there again, I can see in my vector, eight units, since it's a negative eight, tells me it's going to go left eight. And the positive five vertically tells me it's going to go up five. So I choose di uh, translate by vector in the transformations menu. Click on the polygon. Click on the vector. And we can double check A to A prime goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up. And that's how you do a translation. Remember with your vector, always start at the origin. And the second point should tell in which direction and how many units to move to the left or right and how many to move up or down. And that's a translation.